All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol RKT, Rocket Companies, Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So Rocket Companies, Inc. actually has hit a high of about $34 and some change. This is one of the most important numbers for the bulls to hit new highs and work further away into new resistance levels and newer highs. Now, on the other hand, I had spoken about obviously the $19 and some change mark way up here at 1940. And down here, I would talk about 1835, 1840, give or take. If that got broken through, this would start to see newer lows and new support levels. Well, we've actually broken through that point. Now, there's a slight momentum here that has been built in the last couple of hours of the day. But during this day and this time frame, we're still below that 1835, 1840 mark. And we hit some really low points here. So we need to look at this closely and see what is important for Monday and the next coming days. This is going to be super important. And I believe that earnings is coming up in 10 days from now and we need to see what is truly important here for this stock because this stock actually is not reacting the same way it reacted the previous time when it ran up before earnings i mean the run up started about two weeks before earnings we're literally about a week and a half away and it kind of dipped before getting there at one point it hit the highs of 31 it dipped and then like one week before it started to run again so this time two weeks before we're, we're already falling and it fell even harder to newer lows this time so this next week is super important to pay close attention to this stock and how it's reacting between monday and friday and breaking it down day by day to see what is important for the next coming weeks now we are at a new low currently and if this breaks through support it's going to be very important to pay close attention to the stock and how it's reacting so the 50-day moving average is 19 dollars super important number as long as we're below it the bulls are not in control and the bears are in control and the moment we're above it the bulls are in control now for the bulls to get closer to the 50 day moving average they need to break through this resistance and this resistance is 1840. they need to turn 1840 into a support break away from it and get closer to the 50 day moving average to then cross it and get back into bullish territory so super important for the bulls 1840 needs to be broken through and turned into a support now 1840 if it's broken through by the bulls it does not signify that they've gained control they don't gain control until they break through the 50-day moving average and get back into bullish territory this is just an indicator the resistance if it's turned into a support and slightly pulled away from it's an indicator for us investors that the bulls are getting closer to the 50-day moving average and about to go ahead and cross it to get towards their goal of getting back into bullish territory to hit new resistance levels and new or highs right but the first step to start that catalyst and momentum is breaking through 1840 now on the other hand we have our support level this support level is significant because it's the lowest point reached in this bearish run and the lowest point reached that we've seen it actually end up being at even after and before this run the lowest point that we saw before was up here at 18 and some change now we are seeing 1780 as our support so if that gets broken through the bears are dominating pulling this further away from the 50-day moving average and hitting newer lows so it's going to be significant to pay close attention to it because we're already in bearish territory and breaking through that support just means that we're getting deeper into bearish territory and pulling further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction so super important for every investor to pay close attention to how the stock is reacting and how quickly is it hitting newer lows as always i hope that with these cues you guys are prepared for the next trading day 
and we need to pay close attention to how this reacts on Monday and throughout the rest of the week. And if you feel inclined and encouraged to subscribe, please do so. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit that like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money. At the end of this video, there's going to be a pop-up video and I go into detail about the S&P 500 index and how it's been rising up several points on scheduled dates. What happens on those scheduled dates, which are the dates that I circled here on the chart and we're going to see for ourselves. Well, the S&P 500 index rises up several points and by doing so, they're bringing up several ticker symbols, not all of them, but most of them up with them. And these ticker symbols are rising up 30 cents to $3 per share. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but per share that does add up. And one thing I am really big on is profits. If you put a dollar into the market and you get out with $2, you've made profits. You've done what the whole purpose of being in the market is for to maximize profits and minimize losses. And with the Federal Reserve pumping the markets on these scheduled dates, bringing the S&P 500 index up also brings up individual ticker symbols with them. And again, 30 cents to $3 may not sound like a lot of profit per share, but that does add up. And like I say, profits are profits. So we're gonna look here at some of the dates so that you guys can see what I talk about in the video. And it's a weekly series. I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on it. Definitely click on the video as it pops up at the end of the video and check it out. But here we are with one of the first pumps in the scheduled dates pumps. So the first one, since the last time that they had released this, they released this on September 14th and the next one's coming up on October 14th, which is like a week from now. And on the 15th, they scheduled it. And as you can see, this is the 14th and the 15th is this big green bar and it rose up. So on the 14th, we were at around 33.84 and it rose up to 34.20. I mean, that's 40 points risen on the S&P 500 index and that's creating that catalyst for individual ticker symbols to rise up 30 cents to $3. We're gonna look at another one here and the next one was on September 22nd. And here we are on the 21st after falling from that last pump and the market had been falling and you could see that there is volatility on every single day of the market before the dates of the pumps but on the dates of the pumps are the days that the most green happens for the most part not every time but for the most part but on the 21st which was a monday it was rising up and it rose up to this point here and the next one was the 22nd. So this is the last 21st candlestick and this is the first 22nd candlestick. And we were at 3270. This one rose up all the way up here to this point right here. This was the last 22nd candlestick to 3319. I mean, if we go back, we were at 3270, 3319. That's almost 50 point jump here for the S&P 500 index. And again, individual ticker symbols rose up with it and it created that catalyst a little bit before the anticipation and on that date it rose up now on this next pump which was a little bit different there was a catalyst formed beforehand and it rose up to these highs on the 28th of about 33.59 it actually dipped on the date of the next pump which we see it here which was on the 29th of september and the next one was on the 6th which just happened yesterday and it actually slightly dipped. Now, not every time is these pumps going to rise up the market like we've seen here by a lot of points, but it still rises it back up or levels it off from hitting newer lows and leveling off the market itself. Because if we look at the previous notes that I did beforehand, it was actually rising up with it. The volatility was there, but you were able to buy, like for example, how we bought here on the 15th and it rose up. Well, it's been falling and then very volatile here up and down. Beforehand, you can buy at the beginning of the schedule pump dates and hold a couple weeks and ride out several pumps and you are going on your way up. But right now, even as the market's going down, it's a great opportunity to take advantage 
of the fact that the Federal Reserve is pumping the markets and there's an opportunity to make profits. So here we are on the 29th and it fell to lows of 33.28 and it rose up to these highs here of 33.49. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's still a 20 point jump after dipping and recovering and then it continued to work its way up to newer highs. Now here on the 6th, which on the 5th it started to rise, it leveled off. This is the last candlestick of the 5th coming up right now and we're about to see it here yes this is the last candlestick of the fifth and it rose up and all the way to the last candlestick of the six it rose up another 20 points i mean we're down here and it ended up around here so right now something i'm noticing is that these pumps are creating less of an effect on the market but it's creating that upward direction from falling to newer lows but it's still helping the market rise up. And even though the S&P 500 index is rising several points, there are individual ticker symbols rising up. Like I said, 30 cents to $3. Check out the video. I go into more detail. I don't want you guys to miss out on this great information. Click on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.